In the following demonstration, we will be using a single method to navigate, but be aware there are three methods for navigating a Centris, all of which work equally well. The first is by using the application menu on the left of the screen. The second is by using the menu bar at the top of the screen. The third way is done by right-clicking anywhere in the data display field on the right side of your screen. In this video, you will be shown how to create a chart in a Centris when admitting a patient. To do this, first click on Admin in the File menu at the top of the screen. Then click Admit in the drop-down menu. When the Admin window appears, go to the Unit drop-down menu and select or confirm the treatment unit where the patient will be placed. Then open up the Empty Bed drop-down menu and select or confirm the Hold Bed, which is denoted by an H next to the unit name. Then go to the FMP SSN field, enter the FMP and the SSN that was verified in CHCS. Make sure you use the dashes when entering it. Then go to the name field and enter the name of the patient, last name first, in lowercase and with a space after the comma. When all the information has been entered into the appropriate fields, click the OK button at the bottom of the window. A validation box will appear, so you'll have to enter your password again. And then press OK. The patient control window will appear. To clear this, press OK. This window will remain open until you close it. To do this, simply click Cancel in the lower right-hand corner. If a record already exists in a Centris, you may get an error message. If you do not get an error message, you should now see the patient list with your patient highlighted, and you have now successfully created a patient chart in a Centris. If you did get an error message, this problem can be corrected. To learn how, please proceed to the training video on how to alter a chart. Once the chart has been altered, you can then go back in and create a usable chart for the patient.